Hi, this is Alex Paul with Aspen Core, and I'm here with my friend Ben Neuner from uh, Zest Zimmer. They make uh, test and measurement equipment, and well, it's a very critical space nowadays with all these advances in uh, circuitry, isn't it, Bert? It is. We're, um, we're about to separate the wheat from the chaff. You know, the, um, um, the requirements get ever more demanding. You know. The whole point of this whole new semiconductor technology, gallium nitride, silicon carbide, is to uh, become ever more efficient. And how do you prove that you have become more efficient? We do. That's what we do. We build trust. That's our business. We provide instrumentation to allow manufacturers to prove they have actually attained the supreme efficiency they're advertising. Yeah. That's an interesting way to put it, but you're absolutely right. They, they want that trust. They want yeah. to have faith in their solution. Yeah, and their customers. Yeah. And you know, test and measurement is an exact science, and uh, what we do is reproducible. Every calibration lab can confirm that our measurements are correct, and that has become a very important aspect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, especially when you talk about wide band gap semiconductors and they're pushing the frequencies up very high, yeah. power densities are getting higher, and obviously in test, your, your system has to be better than what you're testing. You have to have a wider bandwidth, you have yeah. to have a higher frequency range. So you're constantly running ahead of the yeah. it, technology. It's, it's really getting crazy. They're really pushing the envelope. And what happens is, you know, in the past, if you have like a triple signal, like a 50, 60 hertz sinusoidal signal, you can use pretty much anything to measure power. You know, there's some general purpose instrumentation, like oscilloscopes and modified oscilloscopes. But it's like, uh, um, I prefer likening it to like a Swiss army knife. You can do many things with a Swiss army knife, but it can really cut down a tree. And, you know, measuring the steep rising flanks of these silicon carbide, gallium nitride, semiconductors, that is like the tree. You're not going to get rid of it with a Swiss army knife. You need a dedicated tool. You need like a giant chainsaw. And we are the chainsaw because um, our technology is just built for this challenge. Mm -hmm. We only do power analysis. We've been doing it for three and a half decades, and we're, we've become quite good at it. We have no distractions, just power analysis. And we had time to per perfect our tool for these challenges. Very cool. Now, um, why don't you tell us about one of your latest tools that are uh, especially applicable to uh, wide band gap semiconductors? Yeah, it's a platform we call the LMG 600 family. Yeah, there is, um, they have, we have the best analog bandwidth in the market to capture the um, output spectrum of those devices. And um, the whole, all PWM devices, like typically um, renewable energy, inverters or uh, variable frequency drives that have become our fastest growing market segment because they need this technology because their efficiency has become paramount. Yes. Like electric cars, everybody's talking about reach, but what is reach? It's really efficiency. With the same battery, you're going to go much further if you have more efficient motor drive combination. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and actually that's, that came up in an earlier conversation we were having uh, with someone else about the issue because with all the focus on batteries, people keep forgetting that if you improve the drivetrain and you reduce the size of the power electronics and reduce the weight, you can gain similar, if not superior, yeah. advantages. It is, it's amazing because people talk to, talking about miles to the gallon with combustion engines, but nobody's going to talk to miles to the kilowatt hour. <laughs> but that's what it boils down to when you're uh, gauging efficiency. There you go. Yeah. Kilometers to the Coulomb. No, <laughs> no well, the Coulomb's too small. But you know, yeah, I'll get that patented. Trying to find something <laughs> illiterate there. Yeah. Yeah, some, something in between. Yeah. So, um, having said that, uh, I always ask, what kind of uh, engineering support do you provide to help everyone use your tools to their highest efficiency? That's one of our advantages. You know, we're a very technical company. We're all engineers. We don't put, put much effort in marketing, apart from this amazing video, of course. <laughs> But um, we, we, even our salespeople, they're just application engineers, technically. Yeah, so we're, every single person in the company can give um, deep technical advice. And for um, uh, many of our customers need to get closer to our R&D department. We're, doing, we're very good at doing custom stuff. We're very flexible. We don't have lots of hierarchies and we don't, don't need years to take decisions. So it has happened that, for instance, take the e-mobility sector. Um, some customers um, informed us they would like to see a Canvas interface to better merge the power analysis data with the rest of their data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It took us like six months to come up with a solution once we have identified the need. And that's why it's important for us to be in places like this, mm -hmm. to learn more about the, the industry's needs and uh, put them in practice really quickly. Yeah. No, I agree with you completely. Yeah. I'm, a, uh, I'm, I'm fond of saying you can put a pile of equipment in the middle of a woods, it's not going to make a market. People make a market. Yeah. And you have to have people in the right places. Yeah. And we listen. We keep listening. And we're, we're a German manufacturer. We're close to many, many other manufacturers in that area. 
and that's the way we like it. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Before I let you go, Ben, um, do you have a last word for our audience? Well, one other thing we excel at, and that has become uh, more and more important, is like everybody is under a lot of pressure to do very complicated things very fast. And whereas in the past, people using power analyzers were trained engineers, dedicated to test and measurement, these days they don't have much time to get acquainted. So it is paramount to us to design instruments that are very easy to use and that can be customized to the application. So with our LMG600 touchscreen interface, that is completely customizable. We can turn a generic power analyzer into an electric, electric drive analyzer or magnetic coreless analyzer really quickly. And that makes it a lot e easier to use, especially for the iPhone generation, you know, mm -hmm. with the touchscreen and everything. It shortens the training time to like a number of days and it helps to remember how to use the unit when you pull it off the shelf again. Because mm -hmm. people don't use power analysis constantly. They build something, then they measure it, then they continue to refine it, then they measure it. And it's important they don't forget in between how to use the instrument. Yeah, of course, yeah. exactly. Well, and that's the... The engineer has so many things on their plate today. Right. You have to simplify what they're doing. I hate to say it, but test and measurement is a necessary evil. If people could do without it, they drop it, but they can't. Good for us. <laughs> so. There you go. Well, and good for them, because as you said, yeah. you, want that, you want that assurance. It builds trust. You want that trust in your yeah. own work. And yep. if you measure it, you know. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Everything else is just guessing. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time, Pam. Thank you. Great. Thank you.